This is a Hot Pie Original. Remember how weird it was to watch Bill Cosby, America's dad, get hauled off to jail? Well, how about how weird it is yesterday to watch America's dad get out of jail? Here's the real... I, I, I think a lot of people have tried to follow the legal aspects of this. It didn't take long for the insensitive comments to come from Team Cosby. It didn't. I remember one time when he is, I think he had just been found guilty. He leaves the courthouse and he does Fat Albert. Hey, 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 to the crowd. And they cheered. There's something just so awful and uncomfortable about cheering for him. And I'm thinking, well, on a technicality, if you followed the case now at all, if you've understood at some level, I think you have to be proud of our legal system. The legal system didn't say this guy is innocent at all. The legal system said we have a process. We have a thorough process. And the attorneys in this case didn't follow the legal process. And Cosby is entitled to a defense. Cosby is entitled to great lawyers. And great lawyers figured out this, what was agreed to during the prosecution isn't quite right. It doesn't follow the letter of the law in terms of the legal process. And they threw it out. No one said he's innocent. And it really is amazing. I mean, there really is an appreciation for the law. It doesn't feel right. I mean, uh, a guy who admitted that he was drugging women it walked out of prison. No one said it's about feelings. It is about the process. So instead of just laying low, and this is what I was wondering the entire time. Okay, here comes the entourage. Here comes Fat Albert himself. Surely they're just going to lay low and not say anything. Or surely they're going to lay low and say something like, you know, the legal process worked its way through. Uh, Mr. Cosby's happy. He's going to go on with his life. End of story. Shut your face. Move on. Nope. And sensitive comments start in three, two, one. Pour salt in it. Terrorize the victims more. Um, they didn't lay low at all. At all. In fact, the morning was not even an hour old. And somehow Bill Cosby went to prison because the legal system is racist. Yeah, they played that card again. For those that don't know the technicalities of this, and again, I'm not going to pick apart the legal ruling, but the legal ruling was not about Bill Cosby being innocent at all. Bill Cosby said he did it. That's not, the po- that's not what this was about. Bill Cosby was released from prison. I'll put on these $7 glasses. Bill Cosby was released from prison after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his sexual assault conviction and barred him from being retried. The justices ruled the 83-year-old comedian, who has served more than two years of three to ten year sentence, had been denied a fair trial. Citing an agreement struck with a previous prosecutor, this justice said barred Cosby from ever being charged with a 2004 assault of a Temple University employee. Okay, that's what it was about. That's all this was about. And his lawyers, to their credit, figured it out. They found the loopholes or they found the disagreement in the law and presented it. So... Okay, the, the justices pointed out that apparently they had some agreement that Cosby would agree to the conviction and some sort of broker deal. And then in the end, his lawyer said, no, 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 we should not have agreed to that. It shouldn't have been presented to us. And the Supreme Court said, yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's what it was about. And at some level, you have to admire the legal process. It doesn't care how you feel. It doesn't even care how righteous this was, his conviction. Now, how morally corrupt it is that that guy's walking out of a prison and talking trash about it. The legal system doesn't care about that stuff. It has to follow the process. And legally, the process wasn't followed. So here you go. I mean, they're not even out of the car. And here comes his team. 
What risk do they have now? What do they care? He's not going back. He's not going to get retried on this. So he can be in as bad taste as you want. He can rub it in as much as you want. He can be as insensitive and rude and over the top as you want because he is virtually untouchable at this point. News photographers and TV camera people gathered at the front of Cosby's estate where he returned home an hour later. The car stopped briefly as supporters shouted good wishes to Cosby outside of the gates, which is weird to me. Again, yeah, nothing better to do than go to Bill Cosby's house and cheer. Okay. His spokesperson, Andrew Wyatt, came to the front gate, reaching across to shake hands with a couple of cheering supporters and shouted, we did it, we did it. He called Cosby's prison time, quote, a three-year unwanted vacation. Again, you think they lay low and just respect the process and own the fact that the guy's not innocent and that maybe, just maybe, it's not a great look right now in that moment to rub it in? Acknowledge that it was a technicality and just shut up and move on? Leave the old, let the old man go and just die at home? Could you not just shut up? No, they did just the opposite. We did it, we did it. He called it a three-year unwanted vacation and described the prosecution as, quote, ludicrous and racially motivated. He says, we pulled the sheets off today and America got to see the truth. What we were able to prove today is that Mr. Cosby is innocent. And the whole conversation didn't stop there. No, that's not accurate at all. The court made no finding on the sufficiency of the evidence against Cosby. They never once said that he was innocent. In fact, his owning of the fact that he drugged the women is not in dispute. They just said, by the procedures of the agreement, the 2004 case had to be thrown out based on the procedures that were followed and if it was thrown out, then he would ha then the conviction would have to be thrown out as well. Never once saying an innocent man has been jailed. No one in the legal process said that. And I don't know. I guess when you're untouchable, I guess should the guy be thrilled that he's going to be outside of prison to die? Of course. If you're his lawyer, are you happy that he's out? Of course. But the first thing out of your mouth is to rub it in and say that it's racially motivated. John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce in all 50 states, now in several retail outlets as well. So we're going to turn it over to the social media rock chef superstar. And we're going to walk through a few sauces and why you should buy. We've done beet heat. So we're second in line now for the tasting. Don't forget, everyone, go to ATXHotSauce.com. So here we go. All right. So this one is our smoked habanero five pepper. We smoke habaneros with um, ancho, pasilla. Is that gonna hurt? This one? No, yeah. this one's actually really, really good. Okay. This is like your traditional tapatilla, but yeah. uh, without the vinegar in it, right? And because of that fermentation process that yeah. we've talked about all the time. This one is great on sandwiches, pizzas, things like that. Uh, great on hot wings. Uh, I think you're gonna really like this okay. one too, especially the smoky flavor with the adobe chipotle and the, um, uh, the smoked habaneros. We actually smoked the habaneros um, before we- uh, Does that go with the cab? This would not go with cab. This would go with the great <laughs> Chenin Blanc, though. I knew you were going to teed you up with that one. Yeah, yeah. That is good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just classic yeah. take. Uh, yes. Well, it's a new take on a classic item. Uh -huh. So it's called Smoked Habanero Five Pepper. All right, don't forget one ATX. One of my favorites. Don't forget ATXHotSauce.com. Found this Yahoo News. It was late. Um... Had been for a long run. Uh, it's not that uncommon for Jeff to run in the middle of the night for no apparent reason uh, to think. And then I sadly, I don't know why or how on Yahoo News, I saw the headline. And it is the greatest buzzkill you could probably have. And because it's such a buzzkill, I'm dumping it on you. The headline. And then you might, you're, going to, you're not going to have sex again for six months because of this. You're married anyway, doesn't matter. But if you're not married and you thought you might have sex or you want to have sex again, you're not now. Not happening. No. 
Here's the headline. Bill Gates hosted nude pool parties. <laughs> yeah, there's a, not a naked picture of Bill. But guess what? Reportedly, Bill... Oh, boy. I'm going to dump it on you. I'm dumping the whole thing on you right now. You go ahead. You see what a buzzkill this is. Bill Gates, according to his biographer, James Wallace, Bill Gates went to a Seattle all-nude strip club and invited them to come swim at his pool for naked swim parties. Anything worse? Anything worse than a naked Bill Gates? Anything. Is there anything worse? You go to Hippie Hollow this afternoon. They look muscular compared to naked Bill Gates. In all nude strip clubs? <laughs> this whole thing is horrific. I remember I, had a, I was in a cab in Vegas. I, like, I don't like to talk for very many people, but I do like to talk to cab drivers in Vegas because they have the pulse of Vegas. Guy told me he picked up Gates one time. And I really picked him up since he heard this nude thing. I don't know, maybe he done that too. But he he said that he gave, Gates was waiting outside. I, I guess it was during Comdex, that giant computer or tech convention or whatever it is. Gates was already, it was a while back, but he was already rich enough. And he said it was really, really late. And he stopped and, and gave Gates a ride and Gates tipped him well and all that stuff. I don't know, he may have been going to an all-nude strip club. It says on one, more than one occasion, during nights he wasn't working his usual 17-hour days, he invited friends and nude dancers from local <laughs> all-nude nightclubs <laughs> to swim naked with him at his Laurelhurst bachelor pad overlooking Lake Washington. Wallace says Gates himself rounded up the girls and brought them over there. I don't know if he physically transported them or if he just told them where to show up. Mm. Oof. Says that the word is that Gates was a happy drunk. Yeah, that's fine. Bill Gates is drunk is fine. Bill Gates naked. Hosting all nude strippers. Wonder what he paid. Nobody, nobody, willingly, without being paid, gets naked with Bill Gates. Sorry. I'm sorry. Is that really up for debate? I mean, you don't say, really? We're going to get naked too? You're going to be naked? Great. Love a swim. No, no one gets naked with Bill Gates. This is, I've already screwed up enough today with Laura Branigan, but I'm going to feel comfortable saying this. You do not get naked with Bill Gates, naked, unless you're paid. And no, I don't want him to sue me.